Hi, I'm Jenny, the owner of Kids Aloud, and this is our December newsletter, and we hope you find the content interesting and informative. Parents have told us that they are really interested in knowing more about how um, children learn and our approach to learning at Kids Aloud. So we have actually written some really interesting and interactive workshops around early reading and writing and how we can introduce these concepts to children through play. Um, we've run those workshops now at each of our centres um, and had some fabulous feedback. So the intention is that I personally am going to run those on a fairly regular basis and we'll be emailing you and putting it in your newsletters when the next ones are. And on the back of the success of those workshops as well, we will be introducing some other things, um, maybe a workshop focused on children's creativity and also a workshop focused on children's behaviour. So um, keep your ideas coming in for those because A, I enjoy uh, delivering the workshops. It's a great opportunity to spend time with our parents, but we do want to make sure that it's the things that you want to know about. About. Um, spoke last time about um, group transitions from toddlers to preschool. One of the things um, that the parents said with this round of transitions was that the meeting that we held, the open evening, which started at quarter past seven, um, went on until quite late in the evening. So one of the things that we're going to do next time is start that evening at half past five and that way as well we'll be able to run a creche for you so that your child can stay at Kids Aloud and be well looked after while you come and listen to the presentation about the transition from toddlers to preschool. Um, another thing we know is that our parents are really keen that the children eat well at Kids Aloud and we have fabulous menus and uh, wonderful chefs at all of our centres but we are start going to increase the um, amount of times during the year that we change the menus so they will now be linked to the seasons um, and four times a year we'll be fully changing our menus. The menus this time will be changing on the 2nd of January and we're putting them up on Facebook so that you can take a look and give us your feedback and have an opportunity to make any suggestions. Uh, we are also going to start to do recipes um, and put those in the newsletters on a regular basis because we know many of the children eat better at nursery than they do at home. I know my Olivia certainly does. Um, and then finally, just a quick one for Cheadle parents. We know um, the traffic can be quite difficult at the end of the day trying to get off the business park. So we're going to send you um, a survey um, in fairly short order and we'd really like you to let us know your thoughts about um, opening hours and these sort of things so that hopefully we can come up with some solutions for you or at least solutions that are within our hands. We've been told there may be snow on the way and as much as the children love the snow and to be honest so do the team, um, it can cause some challenges for kids allowed. But I want you to know that so far snow or weather in any kind has ever stopped us opening. So we do have very much a challenge Annika approach and when the challenge is there we still try very very hard to ensure that we open our doors for business. Obviously no cast iron guarantees but if we have a snowy day our expectation would be that we will be open for business as usual. Um, Great update about our graduates at the Kids Allowed Academy. Um, we have our first cohort of successful graduates who are now qualified all the way through our academy. We're absolutely delighted about that and we've had two or three new cohorts start during the year as well. And the academy is all part of us very much raising the standards of the professionalism of the colleagues at Kids Allowed and making sure that they get the very, very best um, training that we can provide them. And now that we're doing that in-house, we're really well placed to make sure that that training is of the highest calibre. And actually another lovely thing that's happened this month is that we have a national award, the NMT award. We've been awarded the prize for the best um, training approach in childcare this year. We really chuffed to bits about that and uh, have some lovely pictures of the events as well to share with you. Um, and then finally, obviously, with Christmas on the way, we are closed between Christmas and New Year, but central support closes a little bit earlier that. It closes on Friday the 20th of December. So we will be sending out your statements nice and early, earlier than usual, so that you've got plenty of time if you have any queries at all. But please make sure those queries are with us before the end of the 20th of December, because there won't be anybody here to take queries after that. <music> Do 
just a few quick dates for your diary. Um, December is always a busy time of the year and most of you now will have uh, been to your children's Christmas concerts if you have any preschool children and we really hope you thoroughly enjoyed those. Um, but also keep an eye out in your newsletter for things like Santa's visit and also your centre's Christmas dinner which is always a highlight of the year. And remember as well please we are closed. Christmas Eve is our last day of operating and we don't open again until the 2nd of January. Can I just say a huge big thank you to all the parents who voted for their Kids Aloud Team Hero. The team are so thrilled that so many of you got involved and we had so many wonderful comments. Uh, the winners on the night were clearly worthy winners and we had a fabulous award ceremony. So um, enjoy looking at the winners and seeing the impact that your feedback has had. Um, and finally, Christmas wouldn't be the same without a Christmas gift, so um, we will be sending home a little something for all of your children as a thank you for your support this year, and we hope you um, put it under the tree and that they really enjoy opening it on Christmas morning.